Today I'd like to show you an edit that I will start in uh, Lightroom and do a couple of things in Photoshop and then bring it back to Lightroom. So I've already applied my Gently preset. You can see it over here on the left. I have seven presets that I use pretty routinely and for this one I use Gently. And you can get those presets for free if you'd like through my uh, newsletter sign up. You sign up for my newsletter either on nadineflynn.com, my website, or Nadine Flynn Photography on Facebook. There's an area there where you can sign up for the newsletter, and by signing up, you get those presets for free. So I've added gently. I've also increased my tint just a little bit, and I'm really pretty happy with how this looks. I'm happy with the boards. They're pretty straight on either side. The plate is centered. I like the textures, the tones. What I don't like is that the basket of berries is a little crooked. It's just a little cro uh, cockeyed. So with everything else being pretty straight, or at least the way that I want it, I want to fix those berries. So what I'm going to do is set, go up to um, Photo, Edit in Photoshop CC, And once I'm in Photoshop CC, all I need to do is come up to this rectangular marquee tool, click on that. I bring the cursor down to an area uh, outside of the berries. Click and drag it so that the dotted lines surround the area that I want to work with. And I try to get pretty close. Then I release and I still have that area selected. Now I go up to the Move tool, which is just above the Marquee tool, click on that, come down and hover near a corner, and here I just want to click and drag down just a little bit to turn the object within the dotted lines until it looks like it's going to be pretty straight and parallel with the boards on either side. Then I release, and it should stay, which it does, I go back up to the marquee tool, click on it, and it asks me if I want to apply that, and I do, so I click apply. And then all I need to do is click on the image again to get rid of those dotted lines that uh, indicated what I was working with. So now what I need to do is clean this up a little bit because there is no data now in this area where I uh, turned the basket of berries. So if I come up to, um, the healing brush tool, click on that. I can hold down the Alt Option key and select the color with which I want to fill in that empty data area. So once I release it, I have the color, I click and drag down and it fills in the color for me from what I've selected. And I'm gonna try that again. Hold down the Alt Op, click, to choose the color, release both of those, and then just pull it right across. I'll come down here to the highlight area, click on that, and erase this highlighted area, or at least fill it into um, I don't know why Photoshop does that sometimes. It picks up some extra data, but I'm going to step back up here. I'm going to come back a couple of steps where it first started doing that. I'm going to click on new color again, holding down the alt option, and we'll try that again. Okay, sometimes you have to go over it a few times and uh, just to really get it to be blended. I'll hold down Alt Op again and get new color and fill that in again until it's smooth. That looks pretty good. Now I do have another area here but I want to show you how I can fix that in Lightroom. I could go ahead and fix it here but I want you to see that it can be done. Once you take the image back to Lightroom you can still work on it fix it. 
So I come up here to File and Save. And then it opens in Lightroom and it's straight, but you can see here's this little area that has no data. So I'm gonna come up to the um, spot healing tool here and I can correct it here in Lightroom just as if I were, had never left Lightroom. And there we go. So the box is straight now, everything looks pretty good. The one thing that I noticed when it was in Lightroom, I think I had pulled up the blacks just a little too much. So I'm gonna click on the radial filter tool and uh, see if I can correct that a little bit. So I'm gonna go to actually clarity and bump that up. And that looks, that looks a lot better to me. So that would be the end of my edit. So I would go up to library. Oh, and I wanna give it three stars since I'm saving it. And I believe the edit is finished. Library, export. For my website, I use um, custom name and original file number. Now I had practiced this before, so it had the file number there, but I want you to see what it would look like if I hadn't. So. I've got the custom name website, but now I need to input the file number because for whatever reason, when after an image has been in Photoshop, Lightroom does not, uh, when you save it, does not read that number. So the last four digits is 1482. I'll put that in and then I'm gonna put a PS there for Photoshop so that when I um, look at that file number, I can see that I have edited it. Edit, edit, edited in Photoshop. Here's my watermark. I'll export it. And I'm good to go now. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask. Sign up for that newsletter. And uh, hopefully I will have another edit for you in Lightroom soon.